guys, Mixed Media Girl here. And today I'm gonna to do something I actually haven't done before, which is a leftover paint pour on a bottle bottom. Now, what do I mean by leftover paint? Well, when you fill up a cup, you always end up having a little bit of paint left over. So you can either throw it out, which I don't recommend because there's always at least an ounce of paint in there, or you can take it with another cup and you can combine them. So this is how I save my leftover paint and I just keep combining it till I have a cup full, which usually takes maybe about a week. And I don't do anything to seal it other than just leave the cup on top of it like this. Now, depending on the temperature or humidity where you are, you may need to seal it a little bit better like with plastic wrap, but this works for me. So I'm kind of excited about this because it's gonna come out uh, a lot more subdued now, just as a note on leftover paint, if you leave it in that cup for, you know, maybe a couple weeks, three weeks, four weeks, it can uh, start to get a bit chunky. Yep, just like that. And then it is no longer good to use. So I actually have a second cup here I'm gonna try. Nope, also chunky. Final try, final try. I have a split cup here. Now this paint in this split cup is definitely more recent. It's from the last couple days. So I know that that will be fine. And it's always a bit of a gamble with that leftover paint. Generally speaking, I haven't really had much of a problem with it, unlike today, but I'm gonna post this video anyways. If you're a person that just likes only perfect videos, then my channel is probably not for you because I post even when something doesn't work, like just now. I do need a little bit more paint, so I'm just gonna fill up this split cup here with a little more paint. Using mainly um, like the gem colors, the metallics, some emerald, some sapphire, and then some white. I'll throw a little razzle dazzle in there as well. I like to let that close up and then I like to take a stick and I like to wreck these petals here. I just love how that looks. I think it looks gorgeous. Optional, of course. And just to explain my setup a little bit here, I do have this up on a cake spinner and I just have it attached to that cake spinner with double-sided sticky tape. And I do have a shower cap over the cake spinner to uh, keep it clean. So here we go. Now I can see over here that I do have a few chunky parts in this, but I do love this. So I'm gonna get some tweezers and get those out. Okay, unfortunately those are not dried pieces. They're more just like clumpy paint, so it does not really wanna come out. I'm gonna give this a good spin and see if we can spin at least some of that off. No. Okay, when all else fails, just scrape. Let's spin one more time. So here's where in my head I would normally go, should I post this or not? Because obviously there was a lot that went wrong 
here with that leftover paint. It was a little older than I anticipated and I just realized also it's been a lot colder recently than normal. We've had a lot of rain. It's gonna get down to 30s even, which is pretty cold for Los Angeles. So I'm sure that is affecting that time. That being said, this is still an absolutely gorgeous painting, even with that scraping and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys in for a close up and then I will be posting this. Just know I don't always have everything come out absolutely perfect, but we can still make it work and still come out with something absolutely gorgeous. So I do absolutely love the colors in this one. And even where I scraped the paint off, can't hardly tell. There was a little part over here, and I think a little part over here. It actually still totally works with the pattern of the painting. So, if you guys made it this far, Thank you so much for enjoying my mess ups and I hope you like this painting as much as I do. Still save that leftover paint. Generally speaking, this doesn't happen if you use it within the lauded amount of time there. But either way, thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.